Hello! <laughs> I hope you guys had a lovely Thanksgiving break. Uh, I am back with the Hella interviews and I have little stars in my eyes. I know I say that all the time, but it's true again. Um, I am nothing uh, of a comic book expert whatsoever, but I really enjoy it. And uh, today I'm sharing an interview with a French comic book artist. Uh, I have translated everything, put subtitles, so it's just going to be fun uh, to hear us in our native language. Uh, but you can follow with the subtitles. Um, and to be honest, I didn't think he would say yes for this interview. Have you noticed that sometimes it's the most talented people, the most busy and the most renowned people who are generous with their time? I'm very humble and th thankful for that. So. His book called Les Ombres de Tulé or The Shadows of Tulé in English has been published by Humanoids. If you are into comic books, you know that Humanoids are the people behind the iconic mythical Metal Hurlant magazine, also known as Heavy Metal magazine in the US, created in the 70s by Mirbius, Truyer and Dioné. And it's been such a reference in the comic book world. So I highly recommend you also follow them in uh, on the social media and get their magazine online because you can discover so many more uh, great, great artists. Coming back to Lionel's book, um, they have released this over the summer, uh, collaboration uh, from him and Patrick Malé, the scenarist. They both work nearly four years uh, on this masterpiece. Um, and it's about a barbarian king who is fighting to prevent the world being destroyed um, by powerful ancient co cosmic forces. Um, and I really like that um, Lionel and uh, the scenarist completely own their references uh, from Lovecraft to Howard to Clark Ashton Smith, Michael Moorcock, Fritz Leiber, the storyline and the visual world pay tribute to their favorite comic book artist. Lionel is very humble, but I can fairly say that they have graduated from their heroes and delivered a masterpiece here. Um, I was drawn to the color palette um, because it's just absolutely fantastic. I'm going to just to show you a few pages, my favorite ones. Um, here you go. It goes from there to there. <laughs> um, this kind, I absolutely love. Uh, I am very much of a right brain, not very geeky. So when stories are too detailed into technical or historical facts, my brain has a tendency to shut down. But here it goes from complex, interesting story details to more universal theme, love, death, everything in between. And that's where I got hooked. Um, Lionel made many projects before this one, so I will leave all his details below the video so you can check more of his artwork. Um, also, it's the first time I failed at sticking to fire questions, but I believe it's a beautiful fail thanks to Lionel. Um, I just got carried away with my questions and it really touches upon profound topics uh, around creativity. So if you're, even if you're not into comic books, what he says about just his mind and how he creates, I think um, it's really interesting. So I will post the interview here, but also on YouTube, so you can watch it horizontally with the subtitles. Thank you, Lionel. Thank you, Humanoids. I am Fred. 